genetic use restriction technology, colloquially known as terminator technology or suicide seeds, is the name given to proposed methods for restricting the use of genetically modified plants by causing second-generation seeds to be sterile. The technology was developed under a cooperative research and development agreement between the Agricultural Research Service of the United States. Department of Agriculture in Delta and Pine Land Company in the 1990s, but it is not yet commercially available. The technology was discussed during the 8th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity in Curitiba, Brazil, March 20-31, 2006. Variants There are conceptually two types of GURT. Variety Level Genetic Use Restriction Technologies This type of GURT produces sterile seeds, so the seed from this crop could not be used as seeds but only for sale as food or fodder. This would not have an immediate impact on the large number of primarily Western farmers who use hybrid seeds as they do not produce their own planting seeds and instead buy specialized hybrid seeds from seed production companies. However, currently around 80% of farmers in both Brazil and Pakistan grow crops based on saved seeds from previous harvests. Consequently, resistance to the introduction of GURT technology into developing countries is strong. The technology is restricted at the plant variety level, hence the term VGURT. Manufacturers of genetically enhanced crops would use this technology to protect their products from unauthorized use. TGURT. A second type of GURT modifies a crop in such a way that the genetic enhancement engineered into the crop does not function until the crop plant is treated with the chemical that is sold by the biotechnology company. Farmers can save seeds for use each year. However, they do not get to use the enhanced trait in the crop unless they purchase the activator compound. The technology is restricted at the trait level, hence the term TGURT. Opposition Terminator seeds were initially developed as a concept by the United States Department of Agriculture and multinational seed companies. As of 2006, they had not been commercialized anywhere in the world due to opposition from farmers, indigenous peoples, NGOs, and some governments. In 2000, the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity recommended a de facto moratorium on field testing and commercial sale of terminator seeds. The moratorium was reaffirmed and their language strengthened in March 2006. At the COP8 meeting of the UNCBD, India and Brazil have passed national laws to prohibit the technology. Potential uses Where effective intellectual monopoly, specifically biological patents, doesn't exist or is not enforced, GURTs could be an alternative to stimulate plant-developing activities by biotech firms. Non-viable seeds produced on VGURT plants may reduce the propagation of volunteer plants. Volunteer plants can become an economic problem for larger-scale mechanized farming systems that incorporate crop rotation. Under warm, wet harvest conditions non-VGURT grain can sprout, which lowers the quality of grain produced. It is likely that this problem would not occur with the use of VGURT grain varieties. Use of VGURT technology could prevent escape of transgenes into wild relatives and prevent any impact on biodiversity. Crops modified to produce non-food products could be armed with GURT technology to prevent accidental transmission of these traits into crops destined for foods.